Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds where I think we're going to do not that quest, not the Vicar's quest yet. I want to do, I want to get the lay of the land a little better. So we're going to go in here, which, whoa! Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Ah. Lots of unsavory types about. Thank you, thank you, Vicar. 12% more crunch. Are you smoking? Inside? You're smoking inside. So far as you know, I'm not drinking on duty. Yeah, no, but you're definitely smoking. Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. So what, what, I, what I have to understand here is that these advertisements are placed so that I will get distracted. I want to. I want to go. I want to talk. This doesn't say it's it's a restricted area. La 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 la. La la la. Taking that. That's free. Did I have it? Yeah. Oh, a bard. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Any any secrets? Nope. Oh, there are enemies in there. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save real quick. I haven't saved. It's so fast. It saves so fast. I don't know. I was, I always expect you to take a little longer. Hello. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Uh-oh. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Uh-huh. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. Like freedom. Anarchists live as one with the animals, lawless, savage, and unemployed. Oh, no! The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave the planet and threaten our hard-working citizens. Uh-huh. This has been Halcyon News, your only source for... Politics of Tossball have grown increasingly turbulent of late with the circus, circus time clowns trading out every single member of the team. Asked to comment on the upheaval, the Owner's League released a statement saying that Clown's failure to reach the finals was a deciding factor in their organizational rearrangement. When questioned about the values of this overhaul team, a representative from the Clown stated that their goals remain the same as ever. Toss, ball, win, repeat. News in the Halcyon Colony. Uh, Chairman salutes Earth Minister Clark. Chairman Rockwell took time from his busy schedule today to talk to us about Minister Clark and his impact on the colony. Working with Minister Clark has truly been wonderful these past eight years. He said his predecessor did a fine job, but Clark's brilliance cannot be overstated. The early retirement program, oh no, is just the latest in a long line of initiatives he has spearheaded that will ensure Halcyon continues to be the envy of all the outer colonies. We couldn't agree more, Mr. Chairman. Early retirement? They're like offing their workers at the age of like 40. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that was a room I could go into. Only thing I can't go into is security, but we'll worry about that later. We're going to the promenade. I did think I might find that woman over there, but lemon slap. Slap your whole family tonight. Slap your whole family. This is actually so cool. I know he said to not get distracted, but I am distracted. The lost hope. Spacer's choice. Oh jeez. How terrifying. I know she's in there, Mfuru. Hmm? 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 Hello? You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Oh, are you the angry one? You're pretty, though. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Mfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. What's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? 
As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Mm. Sounds normal to me. You don't even like her, but you're checking in on her? You say that like it's weird. But why bother? Like I said, Jessie did me a favor, and now I owe her one. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid. I respect it. I respect it. Uh, I could look in on Jesse. Be Maybe. my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Yeah, she's a doctor, isn't? No, is she not a doctor? Oh, she's just a friend? I thought they were both doctors, honestly. What seems to be the problem? Hello? Uh, I'm gonna buy supplies from you? Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Ah! Supplies are hard to come by out here. Wait. Jun Lei is in charge of the... Um, hospital as well as engineering? How do you mean? We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreak. That seems short-sighted. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs. And that's simply not tenable. <laughs> uh, it's simply not tenable. I mean, why don't you guys have a doctor school here? Like, train your own doctors. Like, what are, you know? And get your own little fancy machines that make medicine. It's probably harder. Harder than that, you know what I mean? Uh, to just, like, acquire machines and personnel. I'd like to see Jesse Doyle. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. Okay. The records say, have you actually spoken to her? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records. If are that's you the what head you doctor? Are you the head doctor just chilling out here? In the front lobby, like a, like a, like a, like a, what you, mm, secretary. Take care. Can I go in? I'm in. Oh, jeez. Oh, medical personnel files. Patient experiences unusual side effects post hibernation after his latest voyage. Complains of longer days and increased boredom as if time itself is slowing down. Hi. I've never seen complications as severe, and I'm prescribing a high dosage of stims. While I'm optimistic I can address the symptoms, the cause still troubles me. I'm trying to reach out to convey our crews and some corp docs. I had no on Terra 2 for answers. Update. I've learned that initial crews call the condition skip flu, and everyone I ask says they know someone who knows someone who had it. In the extreme cases, they say the person's body and mind break down entirely. That's what I have to look forward to. Uh, board medics, the few who bothered to reply, insist that the patient was making it up to shirk their duties. I don't believe my patient is mal malingering, but how do I prove that when the board won't even review my evidence? They seem a way more dependent on the board than I uh, thought they were. Somebody died very violently. Jeez. Yoink? No. Sick bay nurse. Yo, what up? Are you, uh... <coughs> you, uh Med base for crew only. Sorry, freighters got to see their ship's sawbones. Freighter. Oh, like the crew of your... Sh like this, the groundbreaker. We're going... No. Hmm. What do all these buttons do, also? There's like a fall button, an electricity button... And the other button. I don't know what those do, but where's the button that tells me I can disguise myself? Mm. Oh, Vicar. Oh, man. Dude, he's got a freaking telescoping staff. What? And he's got a sawed off shotgun. Of course he does. Of course the man has a sawed off shotgun. I am so using this sword, by the way. Do I have a, a better sawed-off shotgun for you? I don't think so. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. 
117 for a staff. I don't think I have any other staffs. Oh yeah, the toss ball stick's not great. Oh, I should give that to myself. I already have an assault rifle, but if I unequip it and give myself, I should sell that hunting rifle. Give myself that one. And then I guess I'm keeping that, but I'll, I'll get rid of the hammer. Oh, no wait. What was that? Yes, the light machine gun. Oh, well, no, 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 no. I'm trying to do that. No, oh my gosh. Okay. No, I don't know. There was like a way to change it before that was a lot easier than what I'm currently trying to do, but. All right, there we go. Shing, giant sword. Um, We good. I do have. I have. Tech skills, nightingale step. Volume of footsteps, radius of footsteps. Marauder armor. Oh, dang, I like that. Do I have anything cool? Retrofitted power armor. Blah, 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 blah. I ain't wearing a helmet, probably. I think you're good to go. I don't know, maybe I should give him better armor? It's kind of weird. I was wearing formal armor that whole time. Level 10? I mean, I could give him the Marauder stuff. But I don't really want to do that. Can't I just find some nice generic armor that isn't associated with anybody? Where is this woman? Where is she? Where is she? Is the freaking is the map gonna help me? Oh, she was. That's right. No, no, no. I remember. She was in the, the thing. That I waste disposal. She's not in the waste disposal. Where did I go? Ah, uh, she was in the friggin'... Something like gas station-y sounding thing. What's this? Hey! From Jay Tennyson. Anyone seen Private Taylor? Haven't seen him days, and where are we on that toilet clog? If Cheek Gleeg has taught me anything, it's that crew's morale is proportional to the quality of their outhouse. You take away the crew's plumbing, you take away their privacy and dignity. So let's get that toilet fixed. Okay. Two wildcat groups, such as Ground Raider Mermita. Even though it's been nine, 20 years since our last meetup on Groundbreaker, I was hoping we could get the old gang back together. Uh, from Buck, Han, and Kitty. I understand that things have changed. Some of us are long-range haulers. Some of us have gone corporate. Some of us are likely dead. Some of us are on Tartarus and not reading this message. But I haven't lost hope. No one responded to my last invite. I hope that means your schedules are full up with family gatherings and job opportunities. Stay free, freelancers. Yeah, that's not what that means. Everybody in your group of friends is dead. To the Conveyors Collective. Conveyors Rights. From Iceman. Hi, all. So I just got off, off ice from a round trip to Deshkova. Two years out, two years back. Imagine my surprise when we dethawed and Groundbreaker comms told us our docking was going to be delayed. One hour turned into five. Then days went by. By the end, we spent an entire gosh dang week waiting for a berth in this law fricked bolt bucket. And because we were kicking our heels all that time, not a one of us got paid. I don't know about you, but I got expenses. A family I don't see often enough debt you wouldn't believe. Even if I'm not working, I still gotta make my payments. Does that seem proper to you? Don't we conveyors have rights? We should do something about this. If you agree, leave a message here, and I'll respond when I get back from Jensen in three years. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm. 
food situation. The promenade is staying salty, but I'm at risk. Our answers didn't rise from humble beginnings and a diet of sproutwurst and borst. You can salt it, zip it, can it up in a pouch, and we're not picky about calling it food. Oh, dang. So their food situation sucks. This is a general notice about our impound policies. If the board impounded your ship, take it up with the board. There are missies in the gaudy building opposite Sublet's warehouse. And then your questions ask sending fees and hate mail, especially hate mail. If Groundbreaker impounded you, pay your dang fees and don't bother my people. Looking for work. Urgently looking for a new crew to sign on with. I've been stuck in Halcyon for almost a year now. I don't know what's holding up my next posting. Never had to wait this long to get on another freighter. I plan to take one of the rare long hauls back to Earth, but I haven't been able to find any. Even the shorter skips to the inner world seem rarer than the outer world routes these days. Uh, I, I guess I could, uh, here's my story. My ship limped into Groundbreaker in a rough state. We couldn't make repair fees, docking fees, refueling. It took my ship for total scrap. I'm hoping someone with a bunk to spare in place as a ghost feeling charitable. This notice has been posted 56 times in 632 days. Is it like a copy-paste thing? Or is it, uh, someone's been stuck here that long? I am go back to Byzantium, you gold plated bastards. Oh, is oh Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. A two person These stairs are board property. Disperse now or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna a arrest two person on a two our person station? protest. Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit. Oh, yet. is she like oh I guess she Get does back. run the whole thing, doesn't she? I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Yeah. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? Guarding stairs for that walking mustache oot on fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. <laughs> Marcy's like, uh, man, don't bring me into this. Hang on, I gotta go back. I gotta talk to the fence first and get a better lay of the land. It just me? Or has it been dead oh. around here? Jeep wants to reduce board traffic, give tram freighters more pads. Are there enough tramps in Halcyon to make up the difference? Take another look at that half empty docking bay and tell me what you think. Interdasting. She's trying to make it more of a freelancer space and potentially make them less dependent on those uh board what is that Ooh, can we rent an upstairs room oh what we interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement listen is this what is this remember auntie cleo because she remembers you that's creepy when you were sick who took your temperature when you were hungry who gave you a needle full of love oh geez auntie cleo that's who have you given your auntie a hug today Trying to make it cute? That's terrifying. You've been listening. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. <laughs> Sorry. Business has been slow. Nice. Anything to occupy the time. Coming up with jokes. Uh, I was live on Groundbreaker. Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. Sublight? Mmm, Sublight. Our local garbage collectors. Oh. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight, but I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. Uh-huh. How does Groundbreaker keep the board at bay? I wonder if I'll be talking to that garbage lady. Uh -huh. Our Chief Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains See, free. See, this seems like terrible foreshadowing, I'm going to be honest with you. Do you do business with the promenade merchants? Of course. Most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, he paid it in spades. Yeah. 
I'm looking for Gladys. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. Thank you. <laughs> okay, bye. I'll go talk to her. Second unit on the right. How about, how about I can't count? How's that? How's that? Hmm? Uh, is it this one? Okay. Yo, what up? What up? Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Uh-huh. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. Okay, that sounds disgusting. Phineas sent me. I'm just gonna just gonna out with it. Told me you could sell me a nav key to Stellar Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. This is running a job. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Or this in. is where I find the job. Oh my gosh, 10,000. I don't even know how many I have. Any chance of a discount since Phineas sent me? Phineas, that old kook. Uh-huh. He was quite the dancer back in his prime. Did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Oh, please. I knew it. I knew it was a I knew it was a bad idea to bring him up. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy that you bring up in conversations unless you have to. Tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Uh... Might be this could help out the groundbreaker as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... I mean, I do have a moral code. I... You just, but I need to know the details. Well, just tell me the details. You know Edna, over in engineering. Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Thank you, Vicar. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corpses are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. I mean, some sort of automated message, even though that was just disproved. Edna didn't seem to think so, and I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but uh, she knows yeah. her comms. Mm. So, like as not, someone's been down there recently. And why do you want me and to look at it? if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. Um... If it's a corporate town with something to hide, why the SOS? Maybe whatever they're hiding went to heck. And now Heck. they need a few spare hands to clean up the mess. Wait, she's out of swearing, Granny. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The you more talk we got to the corporates fighting each other, oh, okay, that's the fair. less time they got to meddle in our affairs. I think she's got, she's got the the ships, the the groundbreakers' interests at heart for all of this. I, don't, I mean, I don't, I obviously don't know her very well, but. From what little I know of, like, her in this conversation we've had. Uh, you need someone to snoop around for you. My goodness, aren't you quick on the uptake. Oh, don't patronize I me. I like that. Don't patronize me. Should you find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets, well... Also, let's we her be on the up and up. chat over a pot up. of tea and my famous cookies. Uh, I don't want your cookies. I, hmm. I'll stop by if I find anything. Law, bless your atoms. Bless your Here's atoms. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. 
Mm, I should probably sell stuff here soon. What other jobs you know about? You might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreakers Chief. Okay, she, she's been she trying does to jobs? get a handle on this heat problem we've got. Oh, You'll find her fighting in engineering. It's okay. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Um, bye bye. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Oh, thanks. Here, take a candy with you. I'm I'm a little afraid. I'm not gonna lie. And you got these like tufts behind you. Why is there people mad at me? Are you are you the ones? No, not you guys. Who's upset with me? Up here? Is someone upset with me up here? I'm like, where are you? Let me find you. I don't know. Oh, am I? Mm, no, I don't know. Don't mind me. Oh my gosh, I'm, look at this. Look at this look. Oh my gosh, it's such a good, oh, it's such a good look. I love it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's a lesbian with a machine gun. I love it. <laughs> she looks amazing. Um, what am I? I got distracted. Why is Vicar glowing? Oh, oh, um, health? No, 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 don't generate. He's good at hacking. I'll give him that. Uh, and maybe another hacking thing. Sermon, one perk point. 20% dialogue combat effect duration. I, don't know, I still don't know what that is. Uh, 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 I kind of want to give him the hacking thing. But I also kind of want to give him that eventually, obviously. The armor rating. But the base health going up is good. I think, right? Oh, uh, no. Do it. Okay, now he's not blinking at me. Okay, I am facing this room, which I do not know what it is. And there's people that are mad at me in here. Um, hmm. Interesting. Oh, she wanted to rent a room. Oh, hey. Nice, these are free. You want to do, do, do staying in a hotel? Have you never stayed in a hotel? Is she just going off and doing her own thing? Oh, do you have a name? No. You have an unlocked computer here. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I can still use my ship to sleep in. Door? Oh, a whole bunch. Oh, this is probably the, the safe area, right? You know, where, like, people can put their stuff while they're staying here. For extra security. Like a hostel. Bathroom. What is that? What are... What are you, little rat thing? Rat dog? You're literally a chihuahua? Yeah, I see you. What are you doing? Is that thing a pet? Why is there a robot in here? Can I just... Oh, look at this. Is this like the garbage? Am I going through the garbage? Why do you guys just have garbage right here in the front room? Your, your vaunted, uh... Oh, dang. Your vaunted garbage collectors are apparently not doing a great job. Hmm. We are wanting to... Oh, jeez. I can't go anywhere. Like, I Gladys is like, hey, go to this place. And then I'll... I don't know if she's going to, like, give me the nav key or if she's going to give me the money to buy the nav key or at least part of that. Uh... I need to work with Udon Bedford before I do anything crazy, I guess. But 
I think I will call this one here. But oh yeah, and my dog wants me to as well. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying and I hope to see you in the next one.